Hi, my name is Eddie Sparks. This is your main man for today. Today I'm coming to you from on the other side of my house, Tampa Bay. It's Bay Shore, one of the longest unbroken sidewalks in the United States. Anyway, I used to do it all the time. Now I'm too busy. Anyway, today we're going to talk about muttering. Muttering kind of goes with what we were talking about, so let's get started. Muttering is when you waste time thinking about stuff. So gaining closure on stuff, which has been the, the whole title of this, will help you stop muttering. The problem is, is that there's always more stuff to mutter about, and you'll find yourself muttering to yourself forever. If you watch my father, my father mutters constantly. That's why I had eight kids. He's always worried about something, particularly his dog. He don't care about nothing else. Never really say anything to me in my lifetime. But anyway, so there's only one way to stop muttering, and that is to be around a lot of people and to stay in the present. Staying in the present is a difficult thing, and how to stop muttering is also different, difficult. So not being by yourself, you can do this a few different ways. It depends on how long you've been muttering. Most of you've been muttering for years. And the only way to deal with muttering is to get yourself in another situation as fast as possible. You have to disrupt that, that habit. It's a habit of muttering and keep your mouth shut. If you can just practice keeping your mouth shut, you stop muttering. It's very easy. Second way is just to have music on all the time music that you know. Also help you stop muttering. Thirdly, you need to play team sports. Muttering is one of the things that happens to you when you're alone a lot. So you can invite people into your office full time for free. Stop muttering. You can do team sports, which helps you stop muttering. You can have more people around you, which helps you stop muttering. And you can listen to your favorite music for about two or three months straight and eventually you'll stop muttering also. Muttering, to you, is not a big deal. But when other people watch you mope around and your lips are moving, while you're walking around, they know that you're mentally insane. It's okay to be mentally insane if you're the boss, but in public, anything you do in private will come out in public. That's true. Almost every time somebody touches my phone, there's a big black cock on it. Or some titties. And I'm like, oh, sorry. Nobody sent me that shit. Well, sometimes. Nobody sent me that shit. That's just not I've been looking at it. I'm like, oh, my mom picked up my phone. It's like, oh, DP my asshole. I'm like, oh, fuck. So anyway, in business, it's good not to mutter. And I apologize if you're underage. I told you not to watch this thing if you're underage. Anyway. Muttering is something that you have to replace. I would try music first. Muttering is also a waste of time. And you'll never stop muttering. If you don't stop, I look it, look it up on somebody else to help you. But it's actually a habit. It's something that you develop a habit of muttering over time. And you just got to stop. So, anyway, my name is Eddie Sparks. Coming to you from Bayshore. And that was your man man for today. Go sell something. It's, it's like... Two, three, I think it's two o'clock on a Tuesday. What are you doing? I don't know. Go sell something. This is your man minute.